Welcome back to our channel, Storytime with Lean and LeJane. Today, I'll read a very nice story called The Ugly Duckling. But before we get started with this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Once on a farm long ago, a mama duck sat on her nest. How long must I wait for my babies to hatch? I have to sit here all by myself. What could she do? A mama duck must keep her eggs warm till they hatch. At last, the eggs began to crack. One yellow duckling stepped out of its shell, then another. Each little chick shook its wings, quack, quack. Look at you, cried mama duck with joy. You are all so cute. Quack, 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 they said with pride. The next day, the big egg started to hatch. Out popped a baby boy bird. Yet, my goodness, how different this one looked. He was much larger than the others. He was not yellow, but dark gray all over. And he stepped out of his egg. He walked with a funny wobble. One of the yellow ducklings pointed. What's that? He can't be one of us. I have never seen such an ugly duckling, said another. How can you say such thing, said Mama Duck in a very stern voice. You are only one day old. Your brother hatched from the very same nest as you did. Now, line up. We will go to the lake for your very first swim. When they got to the lake, each yellow duck jumped in and swam behind Mama Duck. When it was his turn, the ugly duckling jumped in too, and he started to paddle. At least he can swim, Mama Duck thought to herself. When, ye when the yellow ducklings got out of the water, and started to play. The ugly duckling tried to play with his brothers and sisters. They yelled at him, go away. We will not play with you. You were ugly and you walk weird. When mama duck was close by, she would not let them talk this way. Be nice, she would scold. But she was not always close by. One day, one of the yellow ducklings said to the ugly duckling, You know what? You would do us a big favor if you just went away. All of them started to quack. Go! Go away! Why won't they let me stay, in, stay with them? Thought the ugly duckling. He hung his head down low. They must be right. I should go. That night, the ugly duckling flew over the farmyard fence to the other side of the lake. There he met two grown-up ducks. Can I please stay here for a while, said the ugly duckling. I have nowhere else to live. What do we care, said one of the ducks. It's a big lake. Just don't get in our way. Woof, woof. Suddenly, a big hungry dog came tearing by, chasing the two ducks. They quickly flew up in the air, and their feathers fell down on the ground. The poor ugly duckling froze in fear. The dog sniffed and sniffed at the ugly duckling. Then it turned around and walked away. I'm too ugly even for that mean old dog, said the ugly duckling in sorrowful voice. The sky turned dark. Crack! A bolt of lightning lit in the sky. Then came a big storm with heavy rains pouring down. In just moments, the ugly duckling was soaked through and through. A cold wind started to blow. Brr! He held both wings close to his chest. If only there was some place I could dry out, 
All at once, a tiny light blinked far off in the woods. Could it be someone's hut? The ugly duckling flew to the door. Quack, he said. The door of the hut creaked open. What's all this noise? said an old woman, looking right and left. Her eyes were not that good, but she could hear. She looked down. A duck? She picked up the ugly duckling and dropped him inside her hut. You might as well stay here, she said. But mind you, I expect you to lay eggs. A tomcat and hen both crept up to the ugly duckling. Who do you think you are? The tomcat hissed, coming here and taking up room by the fire. Squawk, said the hen. I'm the only one around here who lays eggs. You don't know the first thing about laying eggs. You got that right, said the ugly duckling. I'm a boy duck. Then why are you here, sneered the tomcat. Didn't you hear what the old woman said? Imposter! Get out of here, yipped the hen. Go away, jeered the tomcat. The door was still a bit open, so the poor ugly duckling crept out of the door and back into the storm. No one ever wants me, said the ugly duckling with a tear in its eye. The storm ended. Finally, he found another lake. Look in the water, the ugly duckling saw a reflection from above. A flock of large birds were flying overhead above him. He turned to admire them. They were the most beautiful birds he had ever seen. Their long bodies and slender necks winged through the sky with ease and grace. He watched until the very last one had disappeared from view. The ugly duckling stayed at the lake as days grew shorter. The leaves turned deep red and gold and fell to the ground. Winter came, setting its blanket of white snow. The cold wind blew and clouds darkened. He had to dive into small holes in ice to find fish to eat. Under the ice, it was all he could do to keep paddling so the water couldn't freeze around him, trapping him underneath the lake. He became terribly tired. The ice got thicker still and the wind blew harder. In a moment, two giant hands swept him up. You poor thing, said a farmer. He held the ugly duckling close to his thick warm wool jacket. You didn't fly south with the others. The farmer was carrying him someplace where. The next months were lovely. Warmth from the heat of the fire and from the heart of the farmer enveloped our poor hero. For the rest of the winter, the farmer cared for the ugly duckling. At last, spring came. Little dots of green spotted the tree branches. Short, bright flowers popped up from the ground. It's time for you to go back to the lake to swim again, as you were born to do, said the farmer. I feel good, said the young bird, flapping his wings. Why, I don't think I felt as strong as I do right now. Spring passed, then summer. Years passed. He grew up. He looked into the reflection of himself in the water. He was a white and beautiful swan. He didn't believe it was him. He was so happy. The lesson in the story is that if you have patience, you will see beautiful things in life. Could you find the hidden snails in the video? How many were there? 
Thank you, everybody. Bye.